Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Hi. Today in my bench I have this rigid. It is a uh, tool battery charger. Now this unit came to me by a friend of mine that works in the United States as a building contractor. Now he is back uh, for a holiday uh, to the country and he brings this unit to do some work in his house. Now this unit it is designed for the uh, United States market so it is uh, run only as I, I understand in the United States power grid so here in this country we have a, a different power voltage from the United States in the United States the power voltage it is 110 here it is at 120 so yeah he didn't have the right uh, type of uh, adapter power adapter for driving this unit or to power this unit so he used a uh, 100 watt uh, adapter and he plugged it in but once he did and according to his, to his word uh, he ran for about uh, 15 minutes and then he started to smell a weird smell or a burn smell coming out of the charger itself and the charger stopped working so today i'm going to open this charger and take a look inside and see if i can fix it and set it back to a perfect working order so let's get started so let me remove the battery and put it aside and let's take a look at the charger itself the charger it is a really good quality solid like a brick I really like it and taking a look at the back if we can just take a look uh, the input voltage it is a hundred and twenty volt 60 Hertz 110 watt this is the beginning of the problem a 100 watt adapter it is not suitable for driving this so in order to drive this type of adapter or to drive this type of charger you will need a minimum up to 300 watt and higher so yeah that is his first mistake taking a look at the uh, other information in the back there is not much beside the uh, the input voltage and the output 9.9.6 slash 18 volt BFB so without further ado let's take a look at the what kind of screws oh they are using these uh, star shape or hex uh, type of uh, screws these are really interesting to work with so yeah these are uh, have the uh, the dot or the metal dot or the safety uh, dot in the uh, in the middle so a normal hex uh, hex key it will not open this um, or it cannot uh, remove the screw or turn the screw so let me get my uh, uh, hex uh, set and see if we can open these uh, screws and remove these screws and take a look at the inside of this unit so I tried to remove the screws using my standard hex screwdrivers and I didn't have any luck 
because of the pin that it was installed in the middle of the screw so I went to the market and I bought these Tolson uh, Torx long arm hex key set and this should do just fine removing these type of screws because of the in the middle of the uh, and if this camera will just focus you can see that all of the uh, in the middle of the hex screw head uh, screwdriver itself it, they have this hole in the middle so this type of screw uh, hex screw arm it can remove these screw with ease so let me remove this screw and take a look inside of this charger so apparently the uh, number T20 it is a suitable wrench for removing these screws and I have to say the quality of these screws it is a very high quality and I really like them so yeah this is the screws itself and this is the don't know if you can see it T20 so let me remove the screw and put them at the side and let me see and try to remove the cover of this charger I hope it doesn't have any clips that hold it in so let me pause this video and try to remove this because this oh here you go here's the back cover oh wow and we have a burn mark so something blue in here oh my god the smell oh my god the smell the smell it is awful and here we have a burn mark Pepper mark in here and here. So wow. He wasn't kidding when he said that something smell and something blew out. So let me remove this board and take a look, a closer look at it. But yeah. So this is the charger board has been taken out and from the first we have a swollen capacitor so this capacitor is gone and I believe the transistor is gone the yeah and also the IC the driver IC it is gone so let me remove this cooler and remove this uh, capacitor and remove the IC and clean this board out and see what kind of component that it was it is blown and let's change it and see if we can make this charger work again so after removing all of the component I replaced the IC the driver IC and two capacitor two uh, SMD capacitors and also and a resistor I don't know where the resistor is but yeah and this uh, transistor as well and I also I'm going to replace this capacitor so the new uh, transistor has been installed and the new IC has been also installed and as you can see all of the uh, component are back into its place and you can see the board it is clean like it was came from the factory so all what I have to do now is to install the uh, transistor in its place and secure it with its mounting screw and replace the capacitor and this unit it is now ready to be tested so this is the main uh, transistor has been soldered back into the main board and I secure the 
uh, cooler of the transistor with its holding screws like you see here and I search my inventory for a, a replacement of this uh, 220 microfarad on 200 volts and I found a really unique capacitor this Nitsuku capacitor so this is a true or original Japanese capacitor and it is designed this type it is designed to work as a filter cap so you can see the quality difference between this original Nitsuku capacitor and the crappy Capscon capacitor that it was installed what the hell what is this oh my god I don't know if you can see it but there is a hole in the body of the capacitor so what the hell this is the weirdest kind of blown capacitor that i seen it since yeah i seen it ever i'm capacitors when they uh, blow up they vent through the the through the vent so yeah, I don't know what happened to this capacitor, but this is weird. There's a uh, there's something that pierces the body of the capacitor, and yeah. Anyway, this capacitor it's gone, and I'm going to install this. But in order to I can install this type of capacitor in this uh, uh, board, I need to widen the pinhole of the uh, original capacitor, the crappy capscon, because the original Japanese, and uh, as you can see, it is a two uh, millimeter. Uh, the leads are two millimeter. So yeah, uh, so let me get my designated uh, HSS uh, drill bit and uh, expand these two pins and install this capacitor and then we will plug in this uh, unit into the power and see how it will work. So here is the capacitor has been installed in its place and as I said before I, I uh, expanded the uh, pin holes for the capacitor and here is our finished product and as you can see it fit really well into its place so now let's plug it in and see what happens here is the 110 volt transformer and As we can see, the LED is lighting up. Let me pause this video and connect my VOM and see and test the voltages. So here is the probes of the meter itself, the DMM, my DMM multimeter, and I already soldered a, a, a stud in order so I can attach my uh, alligator clip, uh, probe alligator clip to it. And now let's power it up and see what kind of voltages we are getting. So. Okay, the LED is lighting up, now this is common and this is uh, common positive, 
and we are getting 35.4 volts and the LED it is flickering because this is a CPU unit so it needed to and then uh, to install you need to install a battery in order the charging circuit can work so yeah so I believe this uh, unit is working so let me pause this video and disconnect the solder the solder this uh, stud and secure the capacitor with some hot silicon and install this uh, PC board back into the plastic cabinet and hook some battery to this charger and see how it will behave so here is the uh, unit has been or the PC board has been installed in the plastic cabinet so let me hook it up as you can see it is lighting up let me bring a battery okay so why it doesn't enter right so let me pause this video and try to install it correctly oh yeah here you go the battery has been installed or enter correctly and it is showing that it is charging there is no any abnormal indication and it is fully charged so almost fully charged how can we confirm that the battery is almost fully charged let me uh, flip the charger to its side and connect the dmm to the terminals of the battery and see how or what kind of voltages it is it uh, is present on the uh, terminals of the battery itself and in the charging position we have a 19.7.4.5 point 19.7 75 760 and it is climbing so the charger it is charging the battery really well and it is charging it in a really high power so yeah I believe this charger it is now fixed and ready to be reassembled completely so i hope you enjoy this video thank you for watching see you next time